surprise myself sometimes. When I draw, I'm like, wow, I'm like, I did that. The surprise in Henry Salas's work is not just the art itself. The surprise is in how Henry creates his art. He has to be so slow. The only way he can, with a pencil in his mouth. You get in a zone, and it's just like time just doesn't exist. Time is a concept Henry is all too familiar with. It took just 45 minutes for an autoimmune disease to paralyze him. Then, a doctor told his mom he had just months to live. There was not much hope for me. I only was given three months. That was nearly 12 years ago. Today, Henry spends his time creating the most stunning artwork from his bed in an Orange County nursing home. Things don't just happen, you know. by his more than 250,000 followers on Instagram, where he is known as the Mouth Ninja. Mouth artists and foot artists, there's some pretty good ones out there. And the following just overnight sometimes. It's amazing because I never thought that he's gonna be in this position, uh, like being artist. Of all of Henry's fans, there's no supporter quite like his mom. Magda. As a mother, I feel so proud. He's the one inspiring not only me, it's being so many people around him, around me, and it's amazing. What's amazing is Henry began with digital art. That's what made me fall back in love with art. But even mastering that wasn't enough. I called the nurse and I told her, can you just give me a stack of printing paper and a ballpoint pen? Henry says he wouldn't consider himself a true artist until he could draw on paper. And sure enough, I'm like, I guess I'm that good. The first portrait drawing was on ballpoint pen, which I can't erase, you can't go back. It's not unlike Henry's life. He can't go back to the days of drawing with his hands, yet he believes positivity is poetry for the soul. Just not let, you know, something like this define uh, the stereotype of someone in my condition. Henry would rather be defined by his kindness, the kind he receives from the world, and the kind he shows himself. That's Henry, that with being resilient of mind, that's one of my brand names is Resilience of Mind. That's Henry Salas. In Orange County, Jonathan Gonzalez, NBC4 News. Just a remarkable talent. And this is very impressive as well. A Boyle Heights teenager now crowned the winner of a nationwide duct tape contest. It was a prom dress competition. Carla Torres says she used more than 14 rolls of duct tape to construct this, a one-of-a-kind pink and white dress. It's really remarkable. That's all from duct tape. Not only did she beat out more than 200 others to win, she also walked away with a $10,000 scholarship. My message for everyone is to pursue your dreams. You never know what may happen or what may come out of it. Everyone will learn and gain new experiences from it. The Taurus tells us she plans to study business and then she hopes to get a job in the fashion industry. I think she is well on her way. Thanks for joining us tonight. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon is up next. Good night.